Prince George has reportedly asserted his authority in the school playground, warning his playmates they better watch out because his dad will one day be king. In her book The New Royals, author Katie Nichol claimed George, 9, made the cheeky comment at his former school, Thomas's Battersea. Watch the video above, Princess Charlotte's first day at school. For more royal family related news and videos check out royal family George understands he will one day be king and as a little boy sparred with friends at school, outdoing his peers with a killer line my dad will be king so you better watch out, an excerpt from the book reads. According to the author, George's parents the Prince and Princess of Wales are being careful to raise their three children with an awareness of their future, but not placing an emphasis on duty while they are growing up. They are raising their children, particularly Prince George, with an awareness of who he is and the role he will inherit, but they are keen not to weigh them down with a sense of duty, Nicol wrote. Prince George has two younger siblings Princess Charlotte, 7 and Prince Louis, 4. While not much is known about Lambrook School, the new school the Wales children started earlier this month, the Mirror reported that at Thomas's Battersea George received the same treatment as any other student. A report in Nichols' new book claims that Princess Kate admires the parenting style of the late Queen Elizabeth's youngest son Prince Edward and his wife Sophie, Countess of Wessex. Edward and Sophie have raised their two children Lady Louise Windsor, 18, and James Viscount Severn, 14, without HRH titles or princess and prince titles. Reversing stuffy traditions they have remained largely out of the public eye despite the famous family they were born into. In trying to change the stuffy traditions and normalize their children's upbrings, William and Kate have made other changes. According to royal expert Valentine Lowe, William told staff at his home to not wear suits and wants it to be casual. The kids run around the office, and he does not want it to be stuffy. If we have important meetings, or are going to Buckingham Palace, then of course we, wear suits, a member of the household said, according to Lowe in the book Courtiers, The Hidden Power. The staff member revealed that this change began with casual Fridays and grew to a dress for your day attitude. This is where my family lives, William reportedly told the staff. Despite attempts for a more normal life, duty called for the young royals who were tasked with attending the full day of farewells for the late Queen on September 19. Showing an immense maturity, at the ripe ages of 7 and 9, Princess Charlotte knew exactly what was expected of her and older brother Prince George amid the height of royal pageantry. Watch the video below, what does Princess Charlotte whisper to George? Eagle-eyed royal fans noticed an interaction between the siblings when the Queen's coffin was being transferred to the state hearse at Wellington Arch in London. The young princess mouthed something to her brother, which lip-reading experts believe was, you need to bow, according to the son. After the reminder from his younger sister, Prince George, did not miss a beat and bowed his head. Prince William and Kate made the decision not to bring their youngest child Louis, 4, due to his young age. The behavior of George and Charlotte has been commended, given the long and emotionally taxing day. I love that Princess Charlotte did her own curtsy and wasn't looking at the Princess of Wales. She knows. And her reminding Prince George when to bow. The royal family is in good hands, one tweeter wrote. How well behaved they were. So proud of them, another added. A third message said, how sweetly Princess Charlotte curtsied on her own. Their behavior was exemplary. And while the two children remained stoic during the service, it's clear the emotion and intensity of the sad day finally caught up with Charlotte. Kate was pictured comforting the little girl as the tears flowed. Earlier, Prince George was pictured wiping his eyes at Westminster Abbey during the somber funeral service. George and Charlotte had walked side by side with their parents as the Queen's coffin was carried by pallbearers into the Abbey. During the Queen's funeral, some noted that George appeared to be fighting back tears. Royal commentator Victoria Arbiter told 7news.com.au that William and Kate wouldn't have taken lightly the decision to allow their eldest children to attend the funeral. This was a big decision, Arbiter said. This is biggest role of George and Charlotte's public life to date, thus far. For more engaging royal content, visit 7Life on Facebook. And finally, thank you all for watching the video. Please like and comment your opinion so we can discuss together, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell to follow and update many other interesting news. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.